Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel, I am back with another video and today what I want to talk about is something that's pretty personal to me and that's um, what it's like to grow up with ADHD. Um, I think the best place to start is probably going back to when I was first diagnosed. I, it's hard to really remember everything from it because this was like, I, I was a kid. Uh, I was in year five, I believe, like really bad with maths. Uh, can't think of what age I was, but yeah, around about year five, uh, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> I first got diagnosed with it, it was a case of like, every, like people had to be told, my teachers had to be told and things like that so that they could know how to deal with certain situations. And when you're a kid, things like that, it seems mad, but you start to feel like an outsider because when certain things arise, your teacher has to treat you a different way from the other students. So it starts to make you feel like a bit of an outsider, which no kid really wants. They want to fit in with all their friends and all that. Like, trying to get the teachers to treat me like they treat everyone else uh, wasn't easy, but I think I got through it. Uh, another thing that was, uh, came down to it, really, um, I became a very angry kid. Like, everything, everything just angered me and I flipped out so much. I think a lot of my anger stemmed from the fact that I kept getting in trouble for not focusing. And I always hated the fact that I couldn't focus. Like, I'd, I'd be sat doing something. To this day, I still do it. Like, uh, I, I found a way to manage my ADHD. But to this day, I still find it hard to focus. And back then... I used to get in trouble for not focusing on my work, for not focusing in assembly, for things like that. It's not that I was uh, getting mad at the teachers for telling me off for not focusing or anything like that. I realised that's what they've got to do. They've got to try to get you to focus in on the work. I was more getting mad at myself for not being able to focus on the work. And it caused, it caused like this little fight inside me that's like... It was me battling against my own ADHD. It's such a conflict that it creates this, like, big red rage inside you. And, yeah, I lashed out a lot because of it. Also, I used to snap, like, literally like that. Um, a lot of people didn't take me seriously. Like, they hear you've got ADHD, they just think you're going to piss about all the time and shit like that. And, really, it's not the case. You can... Fun like, people function uh, with having ADHD. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, there's problems, like focusing becomes a bit difficult. Um, getting day-to-day -day tasks sometimes becomes a bit difficult. Managing your anger and your emotions, that becomes a bit difficult. Um, it doesn't stop you from living a day-to-day -day life. Yeah, that, that was me as a kid, like, trying to deal with it all. Um, but I've reached adulthood now, and for a, for a certain amount of time, I felt like, uh, I don't know, maybe it had gone, maybe it had just disappeared. But I guess it's not the case. I still, to this day, deal with some of the things that I had to deal with back then. I can't go into too much with how it affected me as a child, because there's certain bits that I really can't talk about. But... Some of the stuff from then still affects me to this day. Like, focus focus is a massive one. Um, to be doing something like YouTube, um, you need to be focused on recording and editing and things like that. And to be honest, I, I do sometimes, like, get halfway through recording a video and then go completely off, like, forget that I'm even recording uh, or editing as well. Um... A couple of videos, it's literally taken me days upon days to edit. Literally because I've started editing and then let myself just get, like, tracked off to the side. Uh, a big part that comes with it is, like, in day-to-day -day life is bills. Bills are one of the most difficult things. It's easy to go, yeah, you've got a direct debit, you can pay it from there. But you can forget to leave that money in. Or... Things like that. That, that. That's not... I don't think that's my ADHD. That's just me being a bit... Nah. But 
like, I'll go out to pay my bills, like, uh, you know, when you take the letters and you go to the shop to pay it off, I'll go down to do that, and I'll, I'll just get sidetracked along the way, and I'll end up doing 50 other things, and by the time that uh, my mind's gone, oh, by the way, you were doing that, uh, it's, it's already too late. There's a lot surrounding, like, controversy with, with uh, kids with ADHD. A lot of people just think that it's an excuse for kids to act up. And don't get me wrong, I completely understand why you'd think that. And I honestly, I wish it was the case. I wish it was literally just an excuse for kids to act up. But it's a lot more than that. And true, you've got that whole, the kids can go, oh yeah, it's my ADHD, it's not me. Which kids are going to do? They find out they've got something like that. Anytime they get in trouble, you're going to try to blame it on that. But when it comes down to it, like you'd rather get in trouble than try to cope with not being able to focus, not being able... I mean, I, I lose sleep at times due to it. Like, I, I find myself having these little short sleeps, like two, three hours a night. I, I was medicated for it for, like, most of my childhood. Yeah, most of my childhood. Uh, now I'm not medicated for it. Like, I've found ways to deal with certain aspects. Like, um, listening to music is a massive thing for me. I can disappear into the music or I can watch a movie and disappear into that. Um, it's finding something that keeps you grounded. Something that can help you, like, get that focus. Like, for me, before I start recording a video, I will sit for, I don't know, a good hour, something like that before, and I'll just listen to different songs that I like. Um, uh, the Weirdly enough, the one that helps me focus the most is, I know it's going to sound mad, but heavy metal or screamo. That, that music, like, I don't know, it helps me stay centred and helps me find a core within myself. It's it's weird talking about all of this because I'm trying to find the proper way to explain how I've dealt with it throughout the years, but I don't think, like, I think the words that I say can only represent so much. It's all up in here and inside here and everything that I've carried through me with throughout the years. There's no real way that I can like fully make you see like what it's been like i know there are people out there with a lot worse problems than me uh but i'm i can't really talk about that because i haven't gone through that sort of stuff uh there is other stuff that i've gone through obviously um but that's not what this video is about it's something that i, ju I just thought like It'd be good for me to sit and talk about that. I haven't really sat and talked about my ADHD much. And if I can show, like, anyone who doesn't understand it, what even a little bit of what it's like, or even show someone who's going through it now that, you know, you can get to a point where you can manage certain aspe aspects of it and be able to function, like in normal society and everything, then that's the main point of it. It's, it's always difficult talking about the stuff that's personal, the stuff that you've gone through, but I think that's the whole point of YouTube and social media and things, to try to get your voice out there, to try to help people understand what you're going through, or get a message out like you, that you, people aren't alone, like you can go through this stuff together. And... I know I'm going into real, like, proper thinky stuff now. Thinky stuff, that's probably not even a word. Sorry, shut up, Ryan. But, uh, th there's my take on growing up with ADHD. Um, not always easy. Like, I got in trouble a lot through it. And to this day, I still... I still find certain things hard 
like certain aspects of life. I still find them hard, but I'm, I'm functioning, I'm here, and yeah, that's all I can really say on it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below um, anything that you're going through, anything that you'd like to spread a little message about, let people know that you can get through it, you can like function in life with, through it. Um, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can always stay up to date with my videos. And yeah, thank, <laughs> thanks for listening to this awkward little rant. I'll see you in the next one.